Dangerous Music Converter AD Plus. Let's test this beauty. Hi guys, I'm Mystics, audio video production today. I'm gonna test, of course, the Convert AD Plus uh, unit. And I have to send a huge thanks to Milk Audio Store that basically sent me this unit together with other pro audio gear. And if you want, you can suggest me more gear. You can go with the link in the description to see all the catalog from Milk Audio Store. And if you want, you can also purchase unit directly from Milk Audio Store because they can ship all around the globe. <sighs> it's an affiliate link, so, in this way you can support this channel so you can help me to grow and to continue to do what i like helping you to make you your decision and all this will be at no additional cost to you okay so let's talk about this beauty what is this ad plus this is a converter and especially it's an ad converter so analog to digital and for this reason this unit is really for mastering so basically is the last thing you have to place when you do mastering. So you have to go out from your audio interface, from your computer, you use all your analog gear that you have in your studio, and then you have to convert the signal from analog again to digital, and you can print listen the uh, beneficial that you can get with this unit. So let's talk about this unit. From left to right, you have the selection of the sample rate, and this can be done both manually, but the really good way is to use this in automatic way. And the unit is sent from stock with the automatic feature. Basically, we'll follow your audio interface or the project that you have in your DAW. So it's really, really convenient. Then you have the most important section when you do mastering and is the calibration. As you can see, you can choose between minus 14, minus 16 or minus 18. This is really, really helpful uh, for mastering because you can raise the input gain of the uh, converter and you can basically push the meter, digital meter here, all the way up to zero dB to get the clipping a sound of the converter. This is the way how to use a converter. Of course, you can choose between two different sources, analog sources, one and two. Why two? Maybe to make some comparison or maybe to place the first source for your mastering and the second source maybe for tracking because there are people that are using this unit for tracking thanks to the emphasis that I talk in a moment. Aside, of course, you have the clip guard that basically will engage another LED really close to the zero to see that you will not go above. You have the peak meter. Of course, you can choose between hold peak, maximum peak or reset. You can see, of course, the meter that will go on. You have also the metering scaling. This is really useful that basically you can see from standard. So you can see the meter or you can zoom and see only some portion really zoomed and in this way you can see really better if you are clipping or not the converters then of course you have the word clock and you can manage it depending how you are using your system talking about the last control this is the x former insert so you can insert the saturation of the transformer and it's really interesting the possibility also to disengage this so not only you can decide how is the amount of the saturation you want to get but you can also bypass this control and this is really useful is also useful for people that use this unit to track you can record something and you can record directly on this unit of course because you can uh, saturate more your signal with this uh, saturation knob and it's really really interesting now let's see the back panel basically you can see you have these four inputs analog inputs one stereo and analog inputs two stereo then you have the aes output which are uh, digital other digital output adat or spdif the clock and of course the usb which is really useful to connect to your computer for the sample rate of course so now let's talk about the sound of this dangerous audio ad plus and then we'll talk about it together
as you heard the sound is really brilliant i really like the sound from this converter and as you've seen i've compared to the converters of my orion which is here my orion uh, studio uh, synergy core which is a really great audio interface especially for the uh, converters and preamps so you can still listen differences between high quality converters and superb quality converters so you can listen that the sound is more open with the dangerous music 80 plus i can still listen that is it's clearer the sound it's really really pristine clear and i really like to use the saturation transformer because you can really get a smoothness really rounded sound but more bass basically it's really pleasant to listen this saturation on the bass sound of course you have not to raise all the way up of course i've shown you with also all the way up no but you have to be really careful when you use the saturation it's a really great unit i really like the sound and this will make a really huge difference depending also on the converters that you will use usually in your audio interface so depending on the audio interface that you have if you have poor audio interface poor converters it's a really great plus to use this of course if you do mastering but also if you do some tracking really great unit you have the link in the description let me know what you think about and i'll see you in the next video guys bye